Hello Star Wars fans, it's Mr. Corelli and today I'll be reviewing for you the Vintage Collection Woof figure. So this guy is one fantastic figure and I'm really glad I picked him up. Um, he comes with uh, two weapons, this uh, Vibro Axe, uh, which you've seen before on other figures like uh, the um, the Weakway that I reviewed the other day, um, only this is a brown one, the Weakway one was a gray. I might have got that backwards in the other video. Um, he also comes with this uh, uh, blaster pistol. Um, and uh, both of those fit very well in either one of his hands, which is nice. Uh, both his hands have that uh, sort of trigger gripped um, uh, sculpt to them. He also has this removable helmet, uh, which is really cool, very unique looking. Uh, it fits all right on his head. Uh, it, it doesn't fall off normally, but if you ever move his head, it, it's, it's, it feels very loose and will come off um, every time you try to move it. Um, but uh, it, it, it's, it's not really a big deal. I, I put some tack, uh, some you know, tacky underneath his helmet anyways to keep it on tighter. Um, also this uh, bandolier, the little uh, the, the ammo belt around his chest um, is removable. Uh, although it's kind of a pain to remove, you kind of it's probably best to take his, uh, to take his head off to get that thing off. Um, so that's, you know, uh, four removable parts, so that's pretty cool. Um, Let's see, his articulation, let's do that next, is uh, that he has a ball head, a ball hinged shoulders and elbows, swivel wrist, swivel waist, uh, swivel legs, um, ball hinged knees, and ball hinged ankles. Um, so nothing lacking there at all. Uh, you can get him in all sorts of poses. And then there's his sculpt, which is uh, really fantastic. He's got this uh, little vest on up here that is just... Uh, details all over it, um, from texturing on the shoulder pads to, uh, you know, a little metal vest underneath the outer vest. Uh, you know, you're seeing like three layers of clothing there. His legs are all ruffled up with uh, just a million folds down it, and all of those are also painted uh, individually. There's the dark paint with the, with the light highlights all over every one of those ridges. Um, a lot of attention to, de to detail there. And of course, for these aliens, um, the heads are often the focal point, um, and this guy's head is uh, no exception. Um, every little spine and little bump is, uh, is there in full detail. Um, he looks just like the guy in the movie. Um, and, uh, and then on top of that greatly sculpted head is also a wonderfully sculpted helmet. Um, it looks a little bit metal and a little bit cloth because you, there are sculpted stitches, sculpted and painted stitches on top of it, um, as well as some other seams. Um, but it's that sort of dark gray that looks like it's made of a metal. Um, I might have to look at the video. No, even in, in the picture it's hard to tell if it's leather or if it's metal. Um, but all in all, the sculpt is fantastic. And of course, one thing that's immediately noticeable about this guy is uh, is this soft goods um, skirt. And it's it's really it really is soft goods. It's it's soft. It feels like uh, like lamb or something. I, I don't know what it is, but it's uh, it's it's much softer than than any other soft goods that I've uh, felt on a figure before. Except, let's see. No, nope, yeah, it's this is definitely the 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 softest, um, most uh, pleasing to the touch. Uh, soft goods that I've seen on a figure. And it, it uh, because it's so unique, it gives him a really unique look, too. Um, no matter how many, uh, no matter how many Jabba's goons you have in your collection, uh, this guy's gonna stand out as different, because he's not just, you know, in this brown garb you know, that looks the same as the rest of them. He's in, uh, you know, like four different main colors, got green skin and this cool soft goods, uh, skirt. He's, uh, he's, he's definitely a unique figure. Really, the only complaint that I could possibly have about this guy is maybe that his uh, his helmet is a little too loose. Um, that That's a little bit annoying. Uh, but other than that, he's not lacking in any department. He has great articulation, um, great sculpt, uh, beautiful paint, although it's not, not as weathered as it could be, um, but just the variation in colors um, uh, distracts you from the fact that there's not a lot of weathering, except for on these uh, these pants. Um, you know, he's got two weapons, a removable helmet, and that removable uh, chest strap. Um, so he, in the accessories department, he's great. Um, this is really a, a fantastic figure. Um, one of my favorites of the wave, although that was a really good wave that had the Gamorrean Guard, Admiral Akbar. You know, actually, maybe I can't say this is my favorite of the wave, because that wave was just too good. 
Um, right? This came from Wave 3, didn't it? Maybe I'm wrong about that. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to give this guy a 4.5 out of 5, and for anybody that has a Jabba's Palace um, collection, I would definitely recommend adding this guy if you see him. Alright, uh, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.